go. Hey guys, it's Riley, and today we are doing the experiment, What Can Cinnamon Teach You? So... Why? What's it going to show us about? It's going to show us um, how washing our hands is very important and to kill germs. Right. And we have our paper for school. Okay. So. And what supplies do you have to have? We have to have a bowl. We're using a glass bowl. Me measuring spoons. You're going to need um one teaspoon, I mean one tablespoon of cooking oil and a half a teaspoon teaspoon of cinnamon. Uh -huh. So we have cinnamon and vegetable oil and our um, measuring spoons and our bowl. Okay. We have a glass bowl. So one tablespoon. So we need two of these. And who's assisting you today? Papa. <laughs> The excitement is hard to oh, control. Oh no! Those you can put a little more in because some stays in the in the um, measuring spoon. Just a little bit more. Yeah, because right. we're doing two of us. Okay. So now Let's put, put it on. You have to. Have, she has to have that. I understand. I'm going to dry it. I'm drying your utensil for you. Okay. So we have our bowl. With There's something in there. Um, but we have um our vegetable oil in here. Okay. And now we need a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, which is going to be a little bit tricky, but we can do it. Yeah. Scoop it. And don't eat cinnamon, please. Mm. <laughs> so now we're going to pour it in. Stir it up. Now does it say to stir it up? It says mix in. Okay. So yes. <laughs> it looks like we're making brownies. Like really bad brownies. Yeah. Alright, and that's the, you don't want to mix Throw it until it's... some eggs and powder in there and you could have brownies. Really? Yeah. Cinnamon. Uh, Alright, now what's the next step? Pretend the cinnamon dots are germs. Wash your hands in cold water without soap. No, oh, no, 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 no. I think, I think they want... First you got to get it all over your hands. Yeah, see, they're not telling you that for no. some reason. You do this. You get okay. in there. Okay. And then spread it around your hands like this. I'm doing it over the side. Okay. And now... The cinnamon. Oh, so many germs on me. The cinnamon is the germs. Now cold water. Yeah. First it says to rinse it with cold water. That doesn't say how long, right? Does it say soap and water? Just, no, it does after this. All right. Wash your hands in cold water without soap. You can rub them. Now the idea is to show the camera okay. how much cinnamon is staying on your hands. Wow, that's all germs. That's that's Riley's hands. If, see, Papa. <laughs> Look at Papa. If people just wash with cold water, this is what stays on their hands. He has like none. Not much on Papa's. There's a lot on yours. All right. Da -da. And now soap. Da -da -da. Now warm water says. Now wash your hands in cold water without soap. Now use soap and warm water to wash your hands and see what happens. This isn't warm water yet. Yeah. That's because it's our faucet. <laughs> so what do you think? What do you think is gonna happen, Riley? I think it's gonna mostly come all off. Do you think that is because the warm water helps get it off, or the soap helps get the, it off? Both of them. Yeah. Right. Okay. I got it. So this is our sink. <laughs> <laughs> With all, all of our stuff. Yeah. Ooh, that's still cold. By the way, it just hit 30 degrees in Florida. Well, it's like to us, it's something. like minus zero. Yeah. From 90 to 30. Yeah. 
Wow. How did it do? Do you still have any left on you? I have do stuff have right there. Fingernails? Barely. Wow, what a difference. How about you, Papa? Did yours all come off? Not all, but it did a pretty good job. And this and is just a bruise. So. That's mainly because our water doesn't really get that warm. Um, oh, it's getting warm now. It's getting warm now. Do you want to try it again? Yes, let's try it again. Well, the point is that there's still going to be germs left on your hands. Even after you have washed with warm soap and water, there's yep. still germs. Okay, now let it run so it stays warm. This is important for cooks to know. And Papa, what did you, wow. you had to do it as a paramedic, right? We did it in the hospital because you have to, they show you how the, it stays in your cuticles, under your fingernails, any cracks in your skin you may have. Did you use cinnamon? No, we used dye. We had dye pills. Right. So, I think that's what we used in school too, was dye. But it just goes to show how you, you have to, what, so what is it, I mean, what's the question? Conclusion, what is important to remember when washing your hands, Riley? You have to wash with soap and water and it gets all your germs off. Yep, right, and, and you have to like just go rinse and then just put your hand in and then take it out or do you have to like scrub your hands? You have to um, scrub your hands. Right. With hot soapy water. So the whole your your hypothesis is always wash your hand with warm water and soap to to get all the germs off. All right, good job. My hands. What do you so say? Weird. Bye.